God says, and this is in reference to forgiveness and why it's so important to forgive. God says, you are in the best situation you can be in right now not because of your opinion of your current circumstances, but simply because you're in my hands. No matter what looks difficult about your current situation, there is just as much, if not more, that is positive. What are you giving more weight to in your thoughts? You can keep reliving something that I have already forgiven and forgotten, or you can let it go. Choosing to think more about, to put more weight on, living with my belief that my word is true. You need to live more strongly with the belief that my word is true. And I do have a good plan for you. And I will take care of you. And you won't always understand, but I will. And everything that is happening is working for your good. Everything that is happening is working for your good. Yes, yes, yes. My will for you is in effect. Every situation you're in is one you're in for a reason. Just know that these situations are causing you to reap good things in your life when you approach them from this knowledge. The real truth is that you are in my hands. Your life and everything you care about is in my hands. Right now, a sense of peace and power is washing over your spirit while you hear these words, washing away all the fear and doubt. Rest your mind from all that overthinking. Realize my truths for you in this season. I love you. I have a plan for your life and theirs. I will reveal my truth to you as you follow me. I will reward a life that seeks me first. I have peace for you, so stop worrying. I have a purpose for your life. I am more powerful than your past. I will complete the good work I started in you. There will always be the enemy side of the story, causing you to reflect on the past and what they did wrong. The only problem is that he is trying to destroy you. Any feeling of negativity when you think about it is the enemy. I do not bring those feelings, God says. When you hear the enemy coming with his story, consider me and my story. The only way your life can be held at a standstill is if you are listening to the enemy's story more than you're listening to my story. Believe my word that all things will work together for your good because you are called. And also remember, you aren't ever going to know everything. So trust in the one who does. Me. Amen. So God is telling us with this word that we can forgive because we aren't going to know everything and remaining in unforgiveness is simply the enemy's will for us. But God has a greater will for you. He has a greater freedom for you. He has deliverance for you. He doesn't want the root of bitterness to be something that springs up in your heart, causing you to be held so tightly that you can't proceed with his grace. He doesn't want that separation that unforgiveness creates between you and him. He wants to hold you close. He wants to set you free. But you have to agree that his way is better than the enemy's way. You have to be willing to extend grace, to create space, to allow there to be a gap, right? In your relationships with people because they will make mistakes and they will disappoint but we will still live, live free regardless of this happening. We will still be free because we've chosen to believe God and not to walk in unforgiveness. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray, guys. Heavenly Father, God, thank you for your word. Thank you for the truth and revelation of your word in our lives. That you have designed a life of freedom for us in you. God, that you left us your peace. Jesus said, my peace I leave to you. My peace I give to you. You've given us this peace, God, and you've allowed us to come into an understanding that unforgiveness separates us, but forgiveness brings us closer. So Father, let us walk hand in hand, step in step with you, Lord. Let our cadence be right in alignment with you. Let us move when you move, God, so that we can bring glory and honor to your, to your name, Jesus. Lord, let your will be done in our lives. Lord, let let your will be done in our lives to the point where our lives speak your glory, where our lives speak honor, where our lives speak 
the fact that your presence is preeminent, that it, it reigns over everything, that it is in control. Lord, that our choices and our opinions aren't as high or strong or regarded as yours in our lives. Father, help us. Forgive us, God. And Lord, we ask you for this because we know that it's only by your grace that we can receive it. So Father, we ask for your forgiveness. And Father, we thank you for the strength to forgive others as well so that we can continue living free in your name, in your name, in your name, Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 Y'all drop an amen in the chat. Drop an amen. All right. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. So in closing, I just want to remind you that Simplify is live on Tuesdays at 7 a.m. Eastern time. You can come to this channel at Manifestor Daily and you'll be able to catch up, track with me in your journal. If you don't have one, it's undated, so you could never fall behind. Go to Manifest Her Daily. That's manifestherdaily.com to grab one. And I just want to thank you guys for walking with me as we manifest her daily. This is where we keep Christ in the center because that truly is the best way to show up daily. I love you guys. Mwah.